Hi everyone, my name is Christian Reed. I'm here at uh, Acme Tools in uh, Duluth, Minnesota and want to uh, go over today the M1 caliper measuring tool. So the M1 caliper is a digital way to measure um, all sorts of stock goods that you're cutting on your miter saw, chop saw, or other um, uh, linear cutting device and uh, is a streamlined way to get faster cuts, more accurate, and um, very simple and straightforward to use. So um, the M1 caliper has an adjustable automatic spring-loaded arm on it, which will measure any material slit underneath it. Doesn't matter if it's molding, pipe, um, straight wood, lumber, two by fours, four by fours, anything that you can fit under here will be measured and output on a large backlit digital LCD display. So very straightforward, simple to use, and a quick and easy way to get digital measurements on it. Um, getting started is very straightforward. So first thing we do is find a nice comfortable spot on the fence of the saw, left or right side, doesn't matter. Um, we have an integrated clamping mechanism, which makes it very straightforward and simple to uh, attach to the saw, very stable um, on it. And once you have it on there, we're gonna extend the arm down, turn on the button, and we're ready to go. It's that straightforward. So first time we make a cut, we wanna tell it the th thickness of the blade in it. So the blade thickness is automatically compensated um, in the measuring device. And this will ensure that when we're cutting a piece of wood with the M1 mounted on the left side of the saw, that on the right side is the final piece of wood that we um, wanna cut into our desired measurement on it. So uh, starting off with, we'll take the uh, measurement of our saw blade, which can be found um, from the manufacturer or uh, taken from a measurement itself on it. So. Once we have that in it, we'll program it into the uh, M1 itself by holding the middle um, blade offset button. Wait till it clears the screen. We'll use the wheel to toggle to the exact measurement, in this case, 3 30 seconds of an inch. Click the zero button to lock it in, and then we're ready to go. So once we have the uh, blade offset in, we have it mounted to the saw. Um, everything else is uh, ready to go, and we're ready to make our first cut. So to start off on the first cut, we have a spring-loaded arm, so there's no need to pick it up or adjust it. All we're gonna do is slide it underneath the um, wheel. It's gonna start measuring. Um, once it's under there, we're going to pick our zero position. So this will be where we start measuring from. Um, two different ways to do it. The first way is touching off on the left side of the saw blade. The second way is making a cut. In this case, we'll make a nice quick cut to get started. Now that we have that cut, we'll go ahead and zero out the M1 device. We'll see our negative blade offset, in this case, negative three thirty seconds of an inch. Slide the piece of wood to our desired cut position. In this case, we'll call it 11 and a half inches. Once we get there, holding the position nice and firm with our left hand, we'll make the cut. And there we go, it's that simple. So again, very straightforward to do, very quick and easy. We can display measurements in uh, fractional, decimal digits, any metric measurements. Um, we can measure angles in largely the same way as before, either picking an inside or an outside measurement um, and always get um, very accurate cuts within 3 30 seconds of an inch or greater um, in a fraction of the time it takes to do with a um, ruler, tape measure, T-square, any other method for uh, cutting carpenter cuts. So. Yeah, very straightforward, very simple to use and a quick and easy way to uh, get measurements out of it. Um, so again, my name's uh, Christian Reed. Hope you enjoyed our M1 caliper demo and uh, look forward to uh, giving it a try in a store in the coming months.